Hello, Focus Ball. How's everybody today? It is Thursday, and um, I hope a lot of you were able to catch the live video that we did last night. It was inside a separate event. It was um, for the Team Uplift. It was there instead of their weekly call. They did a live video, and I was interviewed in that. And I have had several people reach out to me this morning and say that they really loved everything that we talked about in that video, that they learned so much from it. And then when I started looking, they're actually in this group. So when I reached out to them, I said, were you able to watch the videos that are already in Focus Fall? And they were like, oh, I didn't realize there were more videos. So if you have um, people in your team, I just take for granted that people are getting the notifications that we're filming live inside the Focus Fall group and that something's going on. So um, if you have people on your team and they are not aware of the fact that we're going live almost every day and sharing some information, um, let them know there's a whole bunch of videos that they can get caught up on. So one of the things that we talked about last night inside of that event that came up was sticking to the plan. Um, Jesse Sayerstahl did a poll in the event and asked, you know, like five or six different topics, you know, what were, what was, um, what did people struggle with? The one that came back the most or that had the most responses to was I have trouble, trouble, huh? I have trouble sticking to the plan and often find myself wanting to quit. And so when I was addressing that question last night, I actually, I heard myself say, most people don't actually have a plan. And so that really got me thinking, like once the event was done last night and I was reflecting on what we had talked about, that really made me start thinking. And it's so true. A lot of times in my day job, people have a plan. We've given people a plan because, um, and for those of you who don't know, I'm a trainer. So, you know, people have a certain day or days of the week they're going to be working out. People are following a certain caloric breakdown. People are following, um, you know, meal plans. So they have a plan to follow. So when they don't stick to the plan, that's because they're choosing not to. But last night, what dawned on me when I was talking about this in the realm of network marketing for Thrive, not everybody really even has a plan. So I think that's why people have such trouble sticking to the plan because they don't even know what the heck they're doing. They don't even know what they're supposed to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, we have what's called the calendar challenge, and that is a daily guide to kind of help you get something every single day. But what I want to talk about is your, your personal actual plan to go from here I am as a brand promoter, here I am as an auto bonus earner, or here I am sitting at auto bonus and I want to get all the way to 200K. So um, I want you to think for yourself for a second. If you lived in Ohio and you were going to drive to California, if you just got in your car and you headed west, you most likely would eventually hit California. You might screw up and hit Washington, but California is a pretty big state. So you're most likely going to hit someplace in California eventually. Um, you don't really know how you're going to get there. It may take you a lot longer because you might get turned around. You might get uh, going in the wrong direction at one point. You could get lost. You could get stuck. So when you're planning a trip, you don't just hit the road and go. Um, and usually if you're planning to say go to California, there's a certain place in California you want to go. You're not just trying to get to the state. You're trying to get to a city. So what I want you to think about that is when you're planning a trip, you have a map, right? It's a map that someone else has come up with. So you're basically following someone else's leads. Yes, there's lots of different directions you can go. There's state routes. There's interstates. Um, there's, I don't know, there's only two that I can think of right now, side streets, whatever you want to call them. There's all these different roads that can get you there. There's lots of different ways to get there, but somebody's gone that route before. So you are following someone else's route. You might just be tweaking it a little. Um, so you have your map. You are going to have uh, stops planned along the way because from Ohio to California, you're going to need to eat to refuel your body. You're going to need to sleep to refuel your body. And you might even have stops planned along the way to sightsee because you want to learn and you want to grow through this whole experience going from Ohio to California. And then when you actually get to California, you are going to get to a specific location. Maybe you've decided to go to San Diego. Maybe you've decided to go to Sonoma. You know where you're going because you have a map that you're following and you have refueled yourself along the way, not only physically with food and rest, but also mentally with some sightseeing, right? That's just a no brainer. You have a plan. So what makes you think when it comes to your business that you shouldn't be following a map of some kind 
there are a lot of people over the last five years with, with just Lavelle and over the last 30, 40 plus years in network marketing, they've already done the map for you. Yes, they've got different roads. Some of them get there quicker. Some of them get there a little longer, but the roads are already paved for you. So you need to follow the map. So what I try to do is I look to successful network marketers who are where I want to be. And that doesn't always have to be a Thrive related network marketer. You could see someone else in a completely different industry, but they might be at the top of their company. They might be financially free. They might be debt free. That person got there a certain way, regardless of what product they're representing. So whether you, do, whether you find um, a 200K in the company with Thrive that you want to follow or whether you find someone outside that you want to follow, there's already a map laid out for you somewhere of what someone did. So look for a mentor. It could be, you know, if it's someone, especially in the network marketing realm of Lavelle, it could be someone you could actually connect yourself with. You could reach out and say, hey, you know, I see what you're doing. I respect it greatly. I want to go where you are. I would love if maybe once a month I could pick your brain. Um, you know, they might say yes, they might say no. If they say no, go find somebody else. But you don't have to go alone. You don't have to create the map yourself. You're not a pioneer in this, in this realm. Even the people who started with Lavelle when it was brand new, there was already still network marketing for them to follow. They already had tricks that they used or techniques, I should say. Um, and you know, as far as like one of the things that we talked about last night too, was people feeling burnt out or unbalanced. Same thing when you're traveling from Ohio to California, you're going to get a hotel for at least one night. You're going to get a you know good dinner. You're going to get a good night's sleep. You're going to get a good breakfast before you get back on the road. If you don't put in some refueling for yourself along this path, you will burn out. You will fall to the side. You need to take care of yourself physically and mentally. You need to get the rest. You need to get in the family time. You need to keep your faith, uh, whatever that might be, in the forefront of your life. You can't just think about thrive all day long and never do anything else you will burn out so just like you're going to stop and get a hotel and get a good meal you've got to plan those things in your day in your journey whether it be six months or six years you have to plan those things in um, you know it could be something as simple as every night before bed i take 15 minutes before i fall asleep to read a little or it could be um, every four months we go away for a vacation, whether it be a three day or I'm sorry, a four day weekend or a week, you know, whatever it is, you want to plan those things out. So you have something to look forward to along the way. And then, um, the, you know, and, and in, in my realm, the sightseeing along the way, that's where you start doing the personal development. You start learning about yourself. You go to, um, in our case for thrive or for Lavelle, you go to Dallas in April to the company convention, or maybe you um, do some research of other people who have been, where you are and you take one of their mastermind classes or you read a book. Um, that's kind of the sightseeing along the way in your business journey. So you've got to plan out what you want to do. I can't tell you exactly what to do. I can give you daily mode of operation, which is basically your calendar challenge or in this particular realm, it's your focus fall. Um, you can go with that, but if, but you really need to sit down and plan, think about this and plan this out. Okay. If you know, here it is September by July of next year, I want to be, 40K, 80K, 200K, whatever it is, actually write that out as a timeline. Somewhere, you know, like April, there's going to be Dallas. That'd be a great place for you to feed your mind. Probably sometime in October or November, you might want to look at maybe an online course or something that would help feed your mind. You're going to want to plan stuff out and have a map. Follow the map. Don't try to create this yourself. But I think a lot of times when people say, I'm having trouble sticking with my plan, it really boils down to the fact they don't have a plan. If you don't have this planned out, you won't stick with it because you are going left, you're going right, you're all over the place, you're up, you're down, you're da-da-da, you don't know, you're not, you're not following a direction. Um, the nice thing about a plan is that when times get tough and you do feel challenged, you can focus on your plan and not the day-to-day -day aggravation. So for instance, when a customer falls off, instead of being like, oh, I can't do it, it's over, blah, that ruined, blah, 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 you have a plan, you keep going forward, you don't let little things like that stop you. So. Um, you know, the daily mode of operation, if you don't know what the calendar challenge is or you haven't done it or you're not, maybe you haven't dived into um, this focus fall challenge yet. If you go to the, the photo section of, or the file section, I'm sorry, of this group, you'll find the PDF that tells you five or six things you can do every single day to stay focused. It tells you a few things you can do every week to stay focused and it gives you a few things to do every month to stay focused. That's not necessarily your plan. You know, you can do those things all day long, but if you don't know why you're doing them and where you're going, you're just doing the daily mode of operations, almost like you're working for somebody else. So 
sit down, spend a little time with yourself. Here's where I am. Here's where I want to go. Pull out that mental atlas of, you know, who's done that, who's done that in a manner that I respect and I can follow, who, um, you know, who's in a similar situation. Like, I, it, like, let's say if you have four kids or six kids and you want to get to a certain place in life, you're probably going to look at another mother who has four or six children and see how they got there. If you already own a business and you're super busy as it is, but you want to keep going, you're going to look for someone else who owned a business but still got to where they're going. Do you see what I'm saying? You're going to want to follow the lead of other people who have been there before you. Um, so yeah, the, the thing is, is if you lay out your plan, your master plan, you know, yes, life's going to come in. You might have a five-year plan. Uh, you guys, it, it's just life. Someone's going to pass away. Somebody's going to give birth. Someone's going to get divorced. Someone's going to get married. These things are going to happen in your lifetime, and it's going to maybe stall your plan, but it doesn't have to derail you. And so if you have your master plan, even when things pop up that you're not prepared for, you still have that plan to follow. So when you are back on your feet, you have that plan still in front of you. And when it's your plan and it's your goals, it's your life, I can guarantee you'll stick to it because it's your goals. It's what you want. It's a priority for you. Um, but before you start saying, I can't stick with the plan, I just want to quit, do you have a plan? I bet you really don't have a plan. I bet you don't have a six month, one year, five year. I bet you don't really have a plan. So I think one of the best places to start if you want to create a plan is go back to those vision boards that we worked on already. Look at what's on your vision board. And um, there's a whole video that I dedicated to how to use your vision, how to use your vision board to set your goals. And so it, you've got to get the vision of where you want to be. You've got to set those hardcore goals and then you have to say, how am I going to get there? And that's where you're going to lay out that plan. And then work the plan around you. It's just like when I talk with someone and they're like, they want a meal plan. I can give anybody a meal plan, but it's probably going to have food on there you don't like. So if there's food in your meal plan that you don't like, you're not going to eat it. So if you put goals on your plan that aren't really your goals, you're not going to do it. You have to get your goals. If you really want, I mean, if somebody really looks at me and says, I need and want to be 200K in one year or six months, I'm not even sure how to lay that plan out for them. That's, that's beyond what I've ever thought through. But if someone looks at me and says, you know what, I think I want to start doing this, and I think within the next six months I'd like to be an auto bonus earner, you can lay that out. So you have to take what's, what's important to you, the time that you want to get it in, and put that plan out. But remember, along the way, somebody's already laid out the road. You just have to pick the road you're going to follow. You've got to program in to your plan some stops to refuel your mind and your body and sightsee along the way. Stop and learn from all of this. Don't just chase after um, a customer. And I think that's what it boils down to when people are like, I wanna quit. It's because all they've been doing is chasing a customer. They're just like, oh, I've gotta get 20 new emails. I've gotta get three new customers. Well, that's just a really short, quick term thing. That's not your big plan. And so when one of those customers say no, or somebody won't give you your email, they're like, oh, I'm gonna quit. I'm no good at it. No, you're being short sighted. You're chasing you're chasing the rabbit instead of actually laying out the path. So I know this is kind of a uh, broad spectrum, but I want you to think about that trip from Ohio to California. You would never just willy nilly hop in the car and head west and hope for the best. I mean, I shouldn't say never. Some of you might, maybe you're gypsies at heart, but typically you're gonna have an atlas. Nowadays you're gonna have Google. Um, you're going to follow roads that are there. You're going to stop and eat. You're going to sightsee along the way. So same thing with your business journey. And remember, this is a business. So take time to plan it out. If you just wake up and say, oh, I wonder what's going to happen today in my Thrive business. Well, then I, I wonder what's going to happen today in your Thrive business. I don't know. If you wake up and say, these are my five objectives today. These are what's going to get me closer to my goal. Then I bet those five objectives are going to happen. So, um, I hope this helps you guys. I hope it helps you think long term, big picture. You know, yes, you've got to get new customers, but you've got to think in the long term what that's going to do for you. Don't just be chasing that rabbit. So as always, if you have questions, please ask me. If you have team members who you think, oh my gosh, they need to hear this video, tag them in the video. Ask questions in the video if you want. Share the video with people on your team. Um, don't just keep all this goodness to yourself. And like I said in the beginning, there, there's almost a video for every single day that this challenge has been happening. So take some time, maybe while you're eating lunch or if you're in the shower, just pull up the video and just listen to it. You don't have to watch it. You can just listen to the words that are coming. 
um, and just take the time to learn a little. Learn about yourself. This whole fall focus group is based on first and foremost personal development because remember, nobody cares what you're selling. They care who you are. So become that person that they can trust, that person they can believe in, that person who actually is um, someone that they look to and they're, they're curious about. Personal development first and then we'll grow from there. So you guys have a great Thursday and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.